we're young and in this world Chasing dreams and girls Running from my problems And I know we're old enough Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Nikki So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing products that have helped me on my natural hair journey With no with low porosity hair so if you do like this video please give a thumbs up comment like and subscribe and when you do subscribe please hit the bell twice and click always to always receive notifications from me because you know youtube be you know messing up the notifications so yeah if you want to see what i've got to say thank you for watching Apologies if you guys can hear my washing machine in the background. It's really loud and it's really annoying But we're just gonna get on with the video anyways because I need to film so firstly I would like to talk about my own hair um, like my hair type and all that type of stuff because I know that can actually help some people so firstly I have type 4 hair and I have high density hair i've got a lot of hair on my head and i've got thick strands some people might think you know that's goals but it takes a lot of product for my hair to feel moisturized i also wanted to say that with my hair it's very very coily at the back and very kinky on the sides and in the front it's very wavy so I don't know how that happened but you know god decided to say yo you're getting wavy hair even though it's type 4 so yeah my hair is very wavy and i have to literally scrunch my hair for it to curl it's not heat damage it's just always been like that when i went natural i thought it was heat damage so i cut it really short so this this area of my hair is much shorter than the rest of my hair so that's the information on my hair it's type 4 I don't really care about A, B, or C, or G, F, K, or Z. So, yeah, that's just the information on my hair. Um, I think that's all people really need to know. And obviously, it's low porosity. And as you guys can see, it is thick and dense. So, what is hair porosity and why do you guys need to know anything about it? Like, what do, how does this affect you in any way? Well, porosity is your hair's ability to absorb moisture. So you can either have high porosity hair, low porosity, or I think it's like medium porosity hair. You can find out um, information about it all on these websites that I will give you guys. So with low porosity hair, we have tightly closed pores that finds it hard to bring moisture into it. Products just tend to sit on our strands. So yeah, that will cause things like build up, itchiness, flaky scalp. It makes your hair dry and greasy. And yeah, um, you know, you sometimes you'll have to heat up your conditioners just for it to even penetrate into your hair. The three things that I recommend for a successful low porosity hair journey is always use heat and I'm gonna get to that because you know naturals always be like uh, stay away from heat you don't need the heat but girl if you look if you've got low porosity hair or oh boy you're gonna need the heat always clarify your hair with a shampoo not a co-wash a shampoo okay because you know co-washes do nothing for our hair so always clarify your hair with a shampoo and always moisturize after you've shampooed conditioned and all of that and i'm going to show you guys how i moisturize my low porosity type 4 natural hair so the first thing obviously as i mentioned we need to clarify our hair with a shampoo and this can be a sulfate free shampoo which obviously is the most recommended but i do advise maybe every two to three months or every month to two months you clarify your hair with a sulfate shampoo only because you want to really get rid of all the dirt and build up on your hair because that actually can cause your hair to slow down when it comes to the hair growth process and i've 
learned that with my hair my hair needs to always be clean otherwise my pores would be clogged up and itchy so here's the shampoos and cleansers that i basically recommend for low porosity hair i got a lot so i have a lot of recommendations and i'll leave some more in the description bar below because i know not everybody can afford some products and some products don't work for everybody so the first one obviously i've mentioned this throughout my journey and it's the cream of, this is really dirty i'm so sorry guys the cream of nature cream of nature argan oil sulfate free shampoo that's always been my holy grail since i have been going natural it's worked for me it cleans my hair and it doesn't leave it dry and flaky this one i've been using for a couple months now and i feel like i use this more for clarifying my hair so this is the shea moisture 100 percent virgin coconut oil daily hydration shampoo yeah i feel like this is more clarifying for my hair i think maybe it might be the coconut oil i don't really know but yeah i like to use this with the mixture of my jamaican black castor oil one and this video isn't sponsored by shea moisture but these are just the products that i really do love using as you guys have seen in my previous like wash day videos i always use these products because i feel like they work best for me and they're the most hydrating and they allow my deep conditioners to work a lot better so yeah and the last one that's basically like um, store-bought product is the intensive hydration shampoo and is exactly what it says intensive hydration shampoo and I, I've only just started using this um, a month ago and I really like it it's very moisturizing to my hair and this ain't a sponsored video. Um, I just really, really like it for my hair. And the next one is, I've made a video on this and I really, 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 really do recommend it. And it's also like a, a cheaper alternative. And it is the Russell Clay. Yeah. Russell Clay is really, really good for cleansing, moisturizing and defining natural hair. So check this out I've, i'll also leave the links for my video of all the benefits and everything so these are very very good and it strips the hair in a really good way if you're trying to you know do it the natural way this with some water and a little bit of oil you know your hair is cleansed you don't need anything else also i haven't used this in a while but the indian healing clay it works come on look for me it works basically the same as the russell clay but i find this one to be a little bit more drying but i know a lot of naturals do like to use this so yeah so those are basically my cleansers i suggest you cleanse your hair once a week or every two weeks or if you have a protective hairstyle once a month so make sure you are cleansing your hair if you have low porosity hair and I always cleanse my hair first before I put on a deep conditioner because I don't know when this whole trend started to be, to be doing deep conditioner before uh, shampoo but it's just never made sense to me because I'll just be stripping out all the moisture that I've worked so hard to put in so shampoo first like tr at least try it yeah for a month shampoo first then deep condition and your hair will thank you for it. The next thing obviously I like to do is deep conditioning. You can use a conditioner if you want but you know that's up to you. If you need that extra moisture do condition and deep condition but the conditioners that I do always recommend is you know my baby the Crescent Pillow. Mm -hmm. Yes the Crescent Pillow, I love this. It's for hair growth, but I feel like it really penetrates into my hair. I like it, it makes my hair silky and soft, and this is what I like to use. Also, the Intensive Hydration Mask by Shea Moisture. I really like that. 
so obviously if you have dry hair this is gonna help it a lot more the next one you guys are gonna be like oh if you have low porosity hair you should stay away from like protein and stuff but this is probably the only protein product that I put in my hair the Afogee Curlific Texture Treatment come on focus 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 yeah yeah I really like that it really penetrates through my hair um, I think it's pH balanced that's the only reason why it probably does work so make sure you just try out these products if you like I'm not telling you to go out and buy them if you want to you can use them I'm not telling you to, to buy it please don't kill me so if you don't purchase anything that I've said in this video the one thing I do want you to purchase is a hair steamer and this hair steamer is from curls and co i'll leave the link down below um not sponsored but yeah this is what my steamer looks like i have a video on my channel uh, of how i use my hair steamer and hair steaming is so so key to hair growth for low porosity hair if you're trying to get that moisture into your hair because how I even came about hair steaming was when I was younger and my mom used to take me to the hairdresser and I would get relaxers and they would always steam my hair afterwards just for the treatments to work a lot better and sometimes even if you check on your deep conditioners they will say sometimes to use heat sit on sit under a dryer for better results so i found that out and then i purchased this hair steamer i used to have a heated cap that i used to use on my channel um i'll leave that down below but it kept blowing up my um blow dryers so i had to basically invest money into buying a hair steamer i saw curly proverbs she made like a little diy steaming type of bag thing where you put it in the um you put it inside the microwave and then you put it over your head and you steam it like that i remember i've done a couple of videos where i've put plastic bag over my head then i'd wrap my hair and then i'd use the the blow dryer to blow dry my hair and it worked so well but nothing can compare to the steaming product but obviously if you don't have the money right now just use the examples that i've just given you guys yeah so when i said use heat this is exactly what i meant low porosity people no matter how much you want to deny it or whatever we always need heat in our hair for products to work better for them to penetrate inside our strands so that your hair will look a lot shinier it won't be dry it will last a lot longer um you will be able to hold your styles for a lot longer throughout the week so yeah and then the next thing what you want to do after you've deep conditioned you've steamed your hair and like you've done all of that um you want to what you want to do is moisturize your hair and i feel like the best method for low porosity hair and for my hair is the lco method not the loc but the lco lco which is liquid liquid cream and oil so your liquid will be your leave-in conditioner your cream will be whatever moisturizer you decide to use for the week and your oil will be whatever oil that can pen actually penetrate your strands not one that's going to sit on top and do nothing for you and leave your hair dry throughout the week you want one that's actually going to be able to penetrate your strands and help lock in the moisture I personally don't really like using leave-ins in my hair because for number one I do blow dry my hair most of the time right now but I'm on a break with uh, blow drying my hair but I really do like these I use these as substitute leave-in and this first one is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and you guys know I've used this on my channel since the beginning of time I like this it's just a, a thick cream that my hair likes I know a lot of people don't like it for their hair but me personally I do like it for my hair and yeah that's just basically 
my substitute leaving i'll leave some other ones that i've actually mentioned before my channel that i actually do like but yeah and this one is the manuka honey the palmer's manuka honey leave-in conditioner cream i like this one as well it's not too thick it's not too heavy it kind of just does you know the right job and also the Afoji moisture rich leave-in as well this one's a spray leave-in i really do hate spray leave-ins because it just takes ages to like spray onto my hair and i just need something to work quickly but this is a good alternative also i mentioned this on my instagram as well which is the jamaican black castor oil strength and leave-in conditioner um i i heard that they changed the formula on this but i never knew what the original formula was like but i my hair likes this i mix it with a bit of oil and you know my hair is good to go and then you just want to find a moisturizer that could be whatever moisturizer suits you i don't know what other people like to use but this um you know just use what works for you use what works for you because i feel like people like to push some products to people and it doesn't work for people but still use what works for you if you feel like hair grease works for you which somebody said in one of my videos <laughs> that you know like blue magic or whatever works for them then use what works for you if that's what works for you then use that okay so for oils you can use um oils such as sweet almond oil and i used to use that a lot until i finished and then i got too lazy to go out and buy some more um jojoba oil my hair loves her jojoba oil it really like penetrates through my strands and also i think it's the closest oil to what our hair naturally produces so yeah try jojoba oil um argan oil a lot of moroccans use that they've got that thick luscious hair um grapeseed oil as well and what I use is, you know, just some olive oil. I don't know if this is good for um, low porosity hair, but my hair loves olive oil for some reason. It makes my hair very shiny. It makes my skin shiny. I use this on my skin. I use this on my hair. Um, what else? Like, yeah, my hair loves olive oil. Um, there was an oil that I recommended, like, back in the day which was the henna oil that really locks in moisture like your hair's going nowhere yeah when you use that oil uh, so yeah just make sure you are using this whole routine that i've set up for you guys just make sure you're clarifying your hair um once a week two two times uh not two times a week once a week every two weeks or once a month if you have a protective hairstyle always steam your hair with a steamer or use some sort of heating thing to heat up your hair moisturize your strands because obviously even if you have type 4 hair you need to be locking in that moisture otherwise moisture is just gonna you know it's gonna disappear into thin air and your hair's gonna be dry crusty and then when it comes to the next wash day your hair's gonna be tangled and you're gonna be like yo uh, I can't sort this out here's a quick tip um, for allowing products to penetrate into your hair if you have like a conditioner or a deep conditioner that you want to use uh, one of my subscribers actually told me about this tip I don't remember who did it but it's actually a good tip um, so if you have a conditioner or a leave-in conditioner and you find it hard for it to penetrate your hair get some hot water in a bowl dip your product in there and leave it to just warm up for a little bit and try it to see if it works for you it might work for you it might not work for you but you know it's never gonna hurt it actually helps it to penetrate your hair so that's a good tip for you guys i hope you guys liked the video if you did like it if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up if you have any tips that you guys would like to share with everyone else you know because we're friends out here um leave them down below and share them if you like this video please give it a thumbs up 
subscribe to my channel and comment down below any video suggestions I really like this video I haven't done a sit down video in a while so yeah you guys haven't seen my hair in a puff in a while but yeah I'll see you guys in my next video so yeah bye guys